It's the beginning of April. The hellebores are starting to fade. The spring bulbs on my table are now in full flower. They give me so much pleasure. As the weather doesn't feel like spring at all, at least the bulbs give me that spring feeling. So far spring has been cold, wet and stormy. I'm longing for warmer sunny days. But so every now and then I'm blessed with a beautiful spring day in the garden. Hello and welcome to my garden. It has been extremely wet this winter and because of that I've lost a few plants. In this part of the garden I am growing the pitas and three of them died and three of them don't look that well. Like this one over here. Half of it is still fine but the other half completely died. So I'm going to cut off the part that died and replant the part that's still fine. This is a variety called Walker's Low and despite the name it grows quite tall to up here and when it rains it gets quite floppy and falls over the path. So that's why I'm also going to replace a few with this variety. This one is called Junior Walker and it grows 30 to 40 centimeters tall so I hope with this one it doesn't get too floppy. I absolutely love Napitas. I love their lavender blue flowers and they work really well with the soft pinks and apricots of my roses. And I'm not the only one loving them. When they are in full flower and I'm sitting at this bench, it is buzzing with bees over here. So what's not to love about these beautiful plants? So I like to divide it when it is still in the ground, because then it's less wobbly. Just be brave. <laughs> I've removed the dead part, but if it was a healthy plant, you can also divide it into two or three new plants. So there you go, it is a perfectly healthy plant again. I'm going to temporarily put it in a pot until I decided where I'm going to plant it because over here I'm going to plant one of the new ones. I'm teasing the roots to make it easier for them to grow out into the soil. Backfill the soil and gently firm it in. Give it a good soak after planting. You don't need a big garden to grow vegetables. I've prepared this wooden box with some compost and I'm going to sow some spinach in it. This is a variety called Emilia. 
It is an F1 type. I've chosen this variety because it's powdery mildew resistant and it's slowly bolting. Now sowing is easy, they're quite large seeds and just sprinkle them onto the soil. And push them in so that they have good contact with the soil. And then lightly cover them with some soil. I will water these and these can stay outside. I'm not taking them inside or into a polytunnel because spinach tends to bolt when it's warmer. Hopefully I will be able to harvest my first spinach leaves after a few weeks time. In the back of my garden the white flowers of the hellebores turn to green. The daffodils start flowering and there are even a few white tulips popping up that I planted years ago. These are the daffodils that I planted last autumn and this is a variety called Thalia and it has these white flowers. I planted them in groups of three but I do think it looks a little bit messy so I think I'm going to lift them and replant them into a bigger group. I decided to leave them until they're finished flowering. I'll pot them up when they're finished flowering so that they can die back ready to be planted in autumn. These are the peas that I sowed early February. Now it is time to plant them out. So I'm going to plant these behind the polytunnel where they can climb up against the fence. So these are already quite tall, so they really need to go out of this pot. Let's have a look. So there you have it, a nice healthy root system, ready to get planting. Planting peas is easy. Dig a hole and pop them in. If you haven't sowed peas already, it's not too late yet. You can still sow them and harvest your first peas within 6 to 8 weeks. I've already sowed a second batch of peas to give me a longer harvesting period. I will plant these in a container because I need this fence for my tomatoes after the last harvest of my peas. I will water them regularly, especially when they are in flower. If the plants dry out during flowering, they will drop the flowers, so that means less peas to harvest.
These are the piece that I sewed in, I don't know when. I love the lavender blue flowers and they work really well with the soft pinks and apricots of the roses that I'm growing here. Nice wind! These are the... Nay! These are the pieces that I sewed back in Jan February. So I'm going to plant... So I'm going to plant these... I've chosen this variety because it says to be... Uh, I've chosen this variety because it's milled... So I'm going to plant these... Uh, so I'm going to plant these behind the... Pal so these are already... So these are already quite tall, so they really need to go out of the... Three of them look really bad. Like... And it grows 30 to 40 centimeters high, tall. And it grows 30 to 40 centimeters tall, which is a bit... The ones that I had uh, are called Walker's Low. But I'm also going to add three new plants. And um, this... Oh yeah. The Peters are one of my favorite... Fl I absolutely... I absolutely adore Nepitas with the boing, boing, boing. 